Hey, Master Gardeners, I want you to get prepared because the great Eastern brood of cicadas is coming to a potentially a neighborhood near you. And now's the time to be thinking about what you need to prepare for. These were the same brood of uh, cicadas that came, it's called brood 10. They came in 2004. So if the, you had them in your area in 2004, then they could be back to your neighborhood again. But keep in mind, it's not everybody's neighborhood. In the surrounding Baltimore area, we're gonna have a, a lot of the brood emerging. And in Maryland, Pennsylvania, uh, Indiana, Kentucky, Georgia, North Carolina, but not South Carolina. So you need to go online to uh, um, Mania, Locust Mania, and look it up, Cicada Mania, and look up and see if it's in your area. So don't worry, it's not everybody, but it's worth looking into if it's coming to your neighborhood because if you planted any woody trees last year in 2020, then they could potentially be damaged. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. I put in an Asian persimmon and I wanna show you how you're gonna cover it. Now there's no fear, these are not the same as the, the, the biblical locusts because those were really grasshoppers. And those actually eat foliage. These guys do not eat foliage, so you don't have to worry about that. But during the egg laying process, the cicada makes a slit in the woody stems and puts a nest of eggs up into that slit. And then that egg is gonna hatch and fall to the ground and be gone for another 17 years or so. So the only time that they're a problem is, is five to six weeks during the mating and the egg laying in the branches of your tree. So mid-bay is when you're gonna be watching for them. You don't have to pack up and leave town. If you got a phobia, just stay in the house during those few weeks, it'll end. So come on over, let's look at this tree. The other kind of damage that can occur is sometimes when the, the little nymphs fall to the ground, you can get damaged if there's a whole lot of them in the root systems of plants, because that's where the nymphs are gonna live in the ground. But only if that's a huge number in your area. So what do you do? You need to know that if you planted anything in 2020, you're gonna need to protect it. And you don't wanna be planting any new trees during 2021 until after we know that the, the insect has emerged and that you don't have them in your neighborhood. So you're gonna purchase a product like a cloth like a row cover. This is what I'm gonna use, just a fabric row cover. It's, as you can see, lightweight. It's blowing in the wind here. And here's my little persimmon tree. This is the diameter stems. These might be a little small. It's usually just little small trees that they damage because that female's gonna cut little slits inside of this and lay her eggs up in there. And what happens then is that whole branch will break off and fall and then the little baby eggs will hatch. They actually suck into the xylem tissue inside, which is the vascular tissue in your plant. And they feed in there for a little while and then they drop to the ground and they're gone for another 17 years. So don't flip out. The little guy's only around for a few weeks. So when the spring comes, I'm gonna have leaves. This does not occur until after the leaves are out on your tree. I'm gonna cover my little tree and color, cover the foliage and the new stems and I'm just gonna tie it in down here at the bottom. I'm gonna tie it up. Now, obviously if you have bigger trees, it's gonna be harder. I've got some 12 foot oaks that are gonna be a little bit harder for me to tie up, but I'm gonna to wanna to protect them just because they're new and these younger trees can't afford to lose any branches in this fashion. So when the big band, the big boys band starts singing in the trees, you're gonna know they're mating and that's gonna be your warning that you need to get covers on your woody plants. These don't get into your wildflowers and things. Only if there's a whole bunch of them, they might climb up a sturdy stem of an iris or something. But typically this is only woody trees with thin little stems that are like pencil size and a little bit bigger. And later on, we'll be doing more videos on these. Meanwhile, get a hold of some fabric and be prepared for spring. Brood 10.